be with you on this Tuesday as we have our psalm devotion here at Trinity. And uh, I'm sure uh, there are days when, when you forget to watch these devotions. Well, today, I nearly forgot to shoot this devotion on, on Psalm 16. So I'm happy uh, I was reminded of this, and I'm happy I can get this devotion to you today. Um, I'll read to you first Psalm 16, and then we'll um, talk and have a prayer. Psalm 16. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, You are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the saints in the land, they are the excellent ones, in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those who run after another God shall multiply. Their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out, or take their names on my lips. The Lord is my chosen portion in my cup. You hold my lot. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. In the night also my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. I shall not be shaken. Therefore my heart is glad, and my whole being rejoices. My flesh also dwells secure. For you will not abandon my soul to Sheol, or let your Holy One see corruption. You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. So here today we have a nice uh, psalm of praise. Uh, the psalmist uh, basically de declaring to God that when God is our God and we trust in him and leave everything in his hands, then, then life is good. Uh, that doesn't mean we get everything our flesh desires, uh, but we get everything that we know we need and everything that God has to offer. And in that sense, um, when God is our God, uh, life is, is as good as it can get. Well, let's pray that uh, uh, in light of this psalm, we might remain faithful to the one true God and find joy in the goodness uh, that we receive in him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, continue to strengthen our faith uh, to trust in you above all things and give us uh, joy to know that everything that we need comes from your gracious hand, especially the grace of your Son's death and resurrection for us uh, that we may live in eternal joy and goodness with you uh, here in this life and in the life to come. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. Well, God bless you here with these words of Psalm 16.